What is up, my shred heads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's live stream, we're going to be unboxing a bunch of boxes here. We got three boxes. What do we got here? We got the Rad Runner 3 Plus from Rad Power. Can't believe we're finally working with Rad Power. This is like one of the most known e bike e-bike brands out there but before we get started on this crazy unboxing and possible struggle with shred if you guys do want to support the channel check out that link down below for rad runner and if rad runner isn't for you check out all those other links down below there might be a bike you like who's all in the chat we got dd behind the camera everybody say hi to dd and uh hi everybody what's going on hey guys you are Let's rad see. We have Patrick Bolin. Hope you have better luck dealing with the people over at Rad than I did. I had the Rad Runner 2 for over a year. What did he have? Does he need some customer service? He had a Rad Runner 2, so this is the Rad Runner 3. This yes. is the Rad Runner 3 Plus, it's called. I scoot. Next time you are in New York, you should go to the Rad Power store in Brooklyn. It's a beautiful shop, and they have the complete line of e bikes set up to test ride. Nice. We'll definitely check that out. That's awesome. He said, I'm in a jigsaw puzzle competition right now. What? So really? I'm late to the <laughs> they <live> have those? <laughs> Send me a link to that. Bubba Shitty's in the chat. What's Dan up, Bubba? Bob, got to go fast. Bubba yeah. Shitty, never mind. Hello from Hawaii. Never mind. The Shredheads member. Awesome. What's up, Shredhead members? So if you guys want to become a Shredhead member, help, help support the channel in our voyage to get a sprinter van or some kind of traveling van where we could come see you guys and join your group rides. Uh, there is a link down below. It's like five bucks a month. Sometimes you get early video releases, but you get a little shred head next to your name, highlighted, and all that good stuff. And another shred head member just joined the chat, the Scarecrow. Hell yeah, what's up, Scarecrow? How yes. you doing? Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, Wednesday. And it's a kind of hug. I didn't do any, wheel any wheelies today, did I? No, I did wheelies earlier, but I didn't film it. Anaconda Hugs, what's up, brother? How you doing? Taronsku, Ultima, hey, gang. This is a limited edition actual Rad Power bike. It glows. It doesn't glow in the dark. It actually has reflective paint on it, and it's limited green. So they're, they're not going to make any more of these after these are sold out. Um, so what's up, everybody? Paltima's in here, too? Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. Um, so if you guys were wondering what the rest of this stuff is, as you guys know, Rad Power is like one of the most versatile, like cargo utility type e-bikes. Um, they asked me if I wanted to grab like two different uh, accessories for it. And, and my thoughts were the best thing for me would be something that's like a trunk for traveling. So this is like, a, it's like a center console, they call it. So you can put a bunch of stuff in it. And this one's I'm, I'm excited about. I'm not sure if I'll put it together, but I will open it. It's a freaking trailer, guys. It's the Rad trailer. So. I'm gonna be officially a rad dad. So we're gonna have to throw some, some other people's kids on the back of these and, and test it out and see what it's all about. But uh, any more comments before we start unboxing this? I'm gonna start off with the bike. We'll get to the console and we'll definitely install the console and then we'll get to the rad freaking uh, trailer. <laughs> so I'm excited. We're gonna be able to take this on group rides. On top of that, um, Dee and I actually want to load the trailer up, maybe throw our uh, inflatable kayak on there, a cooler, ride it out to the beach or the bay, and actually have a good day. And I'm, I'm stoked to have a trailer, finally. And on top of that, again, like group rides, we can carry people's extra batteries and everything. Scoot said you can color the box, so don't throw it away. Yeah, that's awesome. I love <laughs> this box. Isn't it cool? You are rad. I mean, this is like one of the the most uh, family friendly e-bikes out there. The fact that you could load up some kids on there and extra cargo in the front and rear. I mean, there's no limits to this thing. Drew Lewis is in the chat. He said, sick hat. Hell yeah, what's up Drew? Thanks for the hat, by the way. I appreciate it. Loving my swag. How was your uh, trip to New York? I'm sorry I couldn't have made it. I couldn't make it, man. We, we've just been so crazy busy, as you can see. We're literally doing like two unboxings a week now. <laughs> it looked like a lot of fun. Ooh, that color looks sick, dude. That looks awesome. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Oh, no, I thought there was a little damage, but just, it's like sticky like glue on there. It's like a little bit of sticky glue. All right. Why'd they put the instruction manual right in my face? Because like, right you need there. to read it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let me look at this. Uh, Kickstand, rear rack capacity, 120 pounds. Dude, I think these Rad Power bikes have like a capacity of like 330 pounds. You can load these things up, dude. We'll throw that in front, just in case. Ultima said it's the first time he's seeing the trailer outside of the Rad Power website. Let's go. Let's go. 
let's go. It's got shoestrings holding on. Actually, I don't want to cut them because sometimes I use shoestrings as uh, as belts. So I might keep these shoestrings. Ice Cube said, how many adult beverages can the trailer hold? Probably a lot. <laughs> And it does have a cargo net too. You can throw over top of it on top uh, on top of that. But uh, I didn't get that. I'll probably end up getting like some sort of like ratchet straps or some kind of bungee cords to keep uh, the stuff on. It has a 100 pound weight capacity. The trailer. The trailer does. Yes. Oh hell yeah! We could throw a DD on the back of there. There we go. All right. Safely got my shoestring out so I could use it as a as a belt. Sometime in the future. That's a nice shoestring. Yeah, thank you, Rad. Thank you, Rad. They give you a belt. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Whiplash, cheapest rate. What? I don't know. Uh, I didn't even talk about the box. The delivery came awesome. No holes in the box. No holes back here. Uh, great job on the delivery. Of course, both sides are stuffed with foam. I'm trying to get like all the loose stuff out before. Uh, I pulled the bike out. Any uh, comments or questions or anything about any other bikes? We, we did an Angway review that we kind of just released on the whim today. I was going to wait till Sunday, but I was like, you know what? Let's get that out today. Get some more videos out for you guys. Ice Cube said you were very fortunate to get a Rad Power bike. They are very selective about influencers. Awesome. Awesome. I'm actually really stoked to be working with them. Like when I went to California, Rad Power was one of the bike companies I literally saw the most. Like the bike racks were full of rad powers. A bunch of young kids riding rad powers everywhere is pretty insane. Um, let's open this. I'm sure it's probably the charger pedals, all that good stuff. There you go. Hey, our Sosa said, what's up, Shreddy and D? What's going on? How you doing? Happy Wednesday. More instructions. What's this for? Battery instructions. It comes with what is this thing? It's a terminal de bateria. Rick said, we have the Rad Runner oh, Plus a... in the collection. It's the best all around bike you can get, to be honest. Totally. And I think Dee's gonna be able to fit on this bike and pedal it herself. I, I can't wait. This is a battery terminal cover. I'm guessing when the battery's not on there, you can pop that on there. I've never seen that before, but that's yes, pretty cool. Yes, I read this bike has a new lowered design for the step through portion, like yeah. a lower step through than any other bike. So that's okay. great. Oh, wow. Great for us shorties. <laughs> All right, we've got the front reflector. I usually don't use front reflectors because I have uh, lights I can put on the front of the bike. Same thing with the rear. My book bag always has all those lights all over it. So I, I usually do, don't put them on, but you guys should probably put them on. Uh, fender mounting hardware. We'll kind of keep all that together over there. What else we got here? Handlebar faceplate hardware. Okay, so that's for the stem boom. Keep that there. This is different. I haven't, uh, usually that's on, on the bike. Okay. And then tools. Let's see what we got. Any questions while we're still waiting here? Kevin Turner said rad dad. What's up? Okay, I'm finally officially a rad dad. Oh wow. They gave us a lot of tools. And I don't even know what's it. This little use for inner brake pad adjustment only. I've actually never seen one of these before. That's a new tool. I think, um, tools, I'm not tools. sure if they just saw that because the camera's kind of angled down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it, um, should I read it again? It says use, oh, I'm upside down. Use for inner brake pad adjustment only. Have you guys ever seen one of these? I know Paltima's had to have seen one of these. Baba Shitty, what's the price for everything? Uh, check out the link below in the like 20... description. Three ninety nine. I have to go into. It. We'll uh, we'll we'll check all the um, all the specs and prices and everything once we get the bike out and built up. Ooh, a headlight. I didn't mean to rip that open, but it kind of tells you <laughs> everything on top of the the box. So pedals and charger. So I'll show you guys the headlight. Make sure there's no nuts I'm gonna drop or anything. Good, good. And that is. Oh, cool. It's got like a little heat sink thing on top. That's their headlight and actually comes with a, reflect a reflector anyway. So it's going to have that on there. Then we got our pedals. Get this out. Bing. Pedals left and right. Rick said, did you say 3k for the bike? If so, they went up in price. 
I think about 2300 Do you have my brown phone? Let me see that. We'll check for you guys. Yeah, I'll check for the price right now. Um, so you can also, you guys can check also, um, there is a link for the bike in the video's description. And, um, and then it's the trailer and the console also. Do, do, do. Oh, they have a Labor Day sale going on until 9-6. Okay, so how much off? Uh, let's see. It might be just on like spe special bikes. Uh, final hours, <laughs> rad deals, final hours, 250 off the rad expand. Uh, 150 off Rad Runner 2. Uh, find out, buy a Rad Runner 3 Plus and get a free accessory. There you go. If you get that now, get a free accessory. Make sure you use that link down below. Save 700 on a Rad Rover 6 Plus. And offer extend, uh, extended 600 off a Rad Trike. That's cool. All right, e bikes. Let's see, cargo and utility. Rad Runner 3 Plus. They are, I think they're sold out of the green right now. They are twenty two ninety nine. Is that what I said when I said the price? Yeah, and you get a free accessory, guys. Free Go through accessory the Accessory with it. All right, no headlight. So in there. if they're already sold out of the green, they might be selling out of the gray soon too. Get on it. Get on it. Because now is the wow. perfect bike weather. That's a cool looking charger. I've never seen a charger with like an orange uh, cord. What the heck? It's got like a. Do you like put it on the wall? I guess. Oh, that's cool. It has two little holes. It looks like you can kind of just put it in the wall, and then when you go home and charge it, you put it in there. And then I have never seen that before. <laughs> That's a first, and it comes with the mounting hardware and everything. That's pretty neat. And my guess is this is going to be around a two to two amp charger. Let's say two amp charger. Oh, so Ultima said the tool two you amp. showed is a five millimeter Allen wrench shorty for adjusting the brakes. It's a cool tool, and oh. I keep one with me all the time. So should I keep that in my? Uh, tool little thing I bring with me on all my rides? Yes. Oh, thank you, Paul Tomo. I'm going to keep that right up there. Oh, Drew Lewis, you and Dee coming out to Electrify in Miami or Austin. If so, see you out there. We'll see you in Austin for sure, for sure. We would love to go to Miami. Miami sounds rad. Uh, but not sure. It might just be at the Austin one. Dead Shred's back there chilling. He says, what's up, everybody? But definitely love to hang out, Drew. All right. Right. Now we're gonna. I'm gonna lay down that box to get it out. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I can pull it out. Nah, it's not a super duper heavy bike though. I, I like actually picked up this box myself. Ah. Okay. Any questions while I rip this sucker out? Uh, Rick said, yeah, we got the Rad Plus when they first dropped long weight too. Oh, during COVID. But I think if I remember correctly, it was around 1800. So it hasn't went up too much. Wow, how much is down there? And now there's not a long weight, guys. Oh, oh there was like little holes in the back of the box. Oh, oh everyone loves the green. Let's see. Ooh, the frame. Dude, look at that color. That looks sick. Get off. Get. I got a new Frisbee. <laughs> there you go. Are people yelling at me for having my feet on the uh, the couch? <laughs> no, Sorry, just guys. me. <laughs> Dee was looking at me going, get your feet off the couch. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in, I'm like excited unboxing this bike. The Rad Runner 3 Plus. It's crazy. If you guys go to the website, check out all the accessories you can add to this bike. It's, it's freaking insane. It's insane. They even have like a little handlebar thing you can have for the back, for passengers on the back part of it. Pretty crazy. So far, so good. Like no, no damage. That's funny how they use a uh, rope instead of uh, like zip ties. It's like a bunch of this rope. Oh yeah. yeah. I wonder if I can cut it with this. Yeah, that's pretty sharp actually. Get here. Ooh, this is a tight one. There we go. That, let's get this one off. Let's get this one off. 
Dee Dee, any more comments or any questions, guys? Uh, videos, bikes coming out. What bikes do we got uh, in the queue? I just showed you guys the Async uh, A1 and the Async H7 we're going to be reviewing very soon. We got the Day Trooper behind Dee Dee right now. Um, the Transformers Megatron Scooter. Jeez, what else? We got a bunch of reviews coming, guys. A lot of reviews. We got some travel in action coming. Um, definitely want to get out to California very, 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 very soon. Oh, async. Very soon? Yep. I told them, uh, I'll put a, a little story about the async today if you guys want to check out my Instagram if you're not. Async your day. Oh, oh Segway scooter. Super scooter. Okay. I'm going to have to stand this up. Not scratch the floor. I do like the orange on that charger. It looks different. Quite, quite different. Hmm. I'm still unclipping things, guys. The most not interesting part <laughs> of an unboxing, right? Also said the rear passenger package is cool. Bub said shred or die. Shred. And kind of hug said green, green, green. I always choose skin. You guys know that. Green is my, my favorite color. Green is my favorite color. Um, Time pack coin, Shredster and Babe. Yeah, what's going on? Ice Scoot, is that a reflective strip on the wheels? I, th I think it is, and the whole bike is actually reflective. Oh, it's reflective. Yeah, the whole bike is actually. Dude, I'm doing, I'm doing such a bad job of removing this freaking tape. Hiya! All right, uh, what next, guys? What, where, where am I going? I gotta flip the bike over on this. This side. Also said, up. leave that fork bracket on until you're ready for the front wheel. Leave this little guy on right here? Okay. Good, good idea. I'm just gonna stand it up and kind of get this stuff off on the other side. Oh yeah, that helps kind of keep it uh, nice and, and stable for me as it falls on top of me. All right, uh, here we go. Alton said, yes, the reflective strip, and it lights up like crazy. I'm going to have to get this mic a little bit better adjusted. Can you guys hear me good with this mic? My lav actually broke on the last ride. Luckily, it broke, like, towards the end, so I didn't lose too much. So now I'm just using my Rode Wireless like this with a receiver, and I just bought a new one. The new one that they kept on showing me ads, and I was like, I need it, I guess, because they keep on showing me the ads. <laughs> See, I bought new mics. These are our fenders. If you guys are ever interested in any of the accessories or recording things or anything I use on the channel, check out all those links down below. Uh, Amazon links for all the cameras I use, drones, all that good stuff. And also e-bike accessories from Amazon. One fender. What do you guys think? Should we do the fender? We'll do, we'll do the fender. We'll do the fender. Fender. Can we come, can we take this one off clean? Let's go. What else, D? You see anywhere else? the seat <laughs> okay we're gonna just rip it off like it's Christmas how does this come off I just want to see how long the stem is okay damn it goes really short D I'm positive you're gonna fit on this bike dude yes once I get the front wheel on, still that that does look like it's gonna be very low. Do you guys want Dee to get on this bike to see if it works for her? Oh, I love how long the back rack is. So you can do. There's like so many options with the back rack. They yeah. have those kids seats. You can put like a kid seat on there or a cargo rack. So much box. Basket. <laughs> oh wow, I like their cable management. They got a nice and clean looking. You can put a basket on the front. Very too. clean looking. Put that there. There's one open cable down here. I'm guessing that's for the headlight, and the other one's capped off. I wonder what that one that's capped off is for. Maybe some kind of maybe some kind of accessory. 
I'm actually gonna put this here because it keeps flipping. There we go. Um, Rad Runner might be in the chat, so if you guys have any, or Rad Runner, Rad Power might be in the chat, so if you guys have any questions about the Rad Runner or any other bikes and you see them in there, definitely feel free to chat with them. All right, so much, so much tape, guys. So much tape. And normally I flip my bikes over to get that front wheel on. So I'm gonna get the handlebar on and then we'll work from there, which I'm gonna grab this bag, faceplate, all that goodness. It says handlebar, faceplate, hardware. Four bolts, four split washers, insulation, C-bike manual, but you guys know how we run. <laughs> Ultima said there's a piece of foam under the back fender, back fender too. Ah, you have great eyes. How the heck does that come out? I'm gonna have to roll the back wheel like backwards, I'm guessing. Yep, I'll do that in a little bit. <laughs> good eyes, good eyes, my guy, good eyes. Uh, what was I just doing? Oh, yes. Oh, keys are right there. Guys, remind me the keys are right there. Scoot said, I went to a Rad Power test ride day and everyone was interested in this e-bike specifically for the kids' seat. That's what I'm saying. Like, we, we, we're always riding around the beach and we see so many Rad Dads with like two kids on the back here and, and with cargo too on top of that. I am looking for two, 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 tools. There we go. Are these the right size? <laughs> boom, boom. What are you laughing at? Anaconda said, I missed the little cactus from the old rental. Oh, how do you remember that? <laughs> I know I like that place. Yeah, dude. That's awesome. Brian McCann, Me another too, Shredhead bro. member, just joined the What's chat. What's up, Brian? He said YouTube didn't notify him again. What the hell, YouTube? Let that sit forward. Dude, yeah, I don't know what's up with YouTube doing that. Like, it even does that for me and, like, some... Uh, people I follow like it won't let me know they had a video out Instagram even camping with Steve thing. I don't get his notifications sometimes Instagram does the same thing like everyone I add Like I specifically add like the people I look at the most to that like I don't know little button that says like closest whatever and I still never see their stuff Yeah, the whole algorithm has been so weird All right, so I'm getting everything kind of finger ish tight and then Oh, look, I still got stuff on here. <laughs> Jeez. So I'm gonna keep that kind of in line like that. And then we're gonna do this in like a little cross pattern. Tighten one up here. Tighten up this one down here. Oh, don't knock over the bike. Any questions? Any? Oh, I skipped, they're always listening, huh? Oh, Shreddy, you have ev to tell everyone a story. What? About something you saw in the night sky. You're, you need to oh. put up a video on TikTok. Yeah, man. I was out there, <laughs> out front, practicing wheelies. Uh, when? Then I started talking to my neighbor like two days ago. And then I see, I see these like row, this one row of lights. It's like in three, three, and they're all spaced apart. It's like, I don't even know how many there were, like 15 or 20 or whatever, but I'll, I'll, I'll put up the video on like, I don't know, maybe I'll do it on Instagram or, or TikTok. But they started disappearing one by one. I was like, what the hell? And at first I was like, are those birds or whatever? They're like, no, they don't fly like that. So once they started disappearing, that's when I was like, dude, it's freaking aliens. I really thought it was aliens. My neighbor thought it was, uh, well, at first she, she thought it was Santa Claus's reindeers, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was pretty crazy, so. Sent it to a bunch of friends, and I decided. I thought I was like, man, I bet you the one person who would know what this is is probably like Brian Redman. Let me send it to him, and I, and I send him the text. I was like, yo, aliens, bro. And, he, and then he pretty much schooled me. He was like, bro. He's like, that's Starlink, Elon Musk. I was like, oh, damn it, dude. Crushed my hopes and dreams of finally seeing freaking aliens, man. So. I didn't see aliens. I saw Starlink from Delaware, which is pretty crazy. Have you guys ever seen Starlink up in the sky? <laughs> he's mad that I didn't call her out. He but. didn't even tell me, and all this is happening like out front, and then he comes in, he's like so scared. I was like, dude, I'm, we saw aliens, dude. It's real. Like, the dude, video I, is I hilarious, felt crazy. Though. Like, I, it felt like I really saw aliens. I was just 
Jeez, man. But my hopes and dreams are crushed, so I didn't see aliens. I saw Elon Musk. <laughs> Rick said he went through your Rad Power link in the video's description, and the accessory list is huge. It's crazy, you bro. You can put on this bike. It's crazy. It's Unlimited. crazy. Unlimited. It's crazy. And they said you're right, and the parts are quality. Definitely, definitely. Let me flip this bike. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me get that thing out. I'm a rad dad. I'm freaking a rad dad. We need to get, um, they, they even have like pet carriers on here too. So you can throw the pet carrier in the front, pet carrier in the back. Like, bro, bro, you can bring all your friends with you. This is awesome. <laughs> Kids and dogs. <laughs> <laughs> all your homies. I feel like this mic keeps flipping on me. Uh, Brian McCann, Trinehead member, said, I ordered burritos. Yum. Yummy. What did we have today, guys? Oh, who, who didn't? Hold on. Who normally asks us what we ate for dinner? They didn't ask us today. Are they even here? He, <laughs> Brian said, where is the Megatron? Megatron. He is chilling in the garage. We're going to be shooting that review soon. I just need a vehicle to take it to my starting location, unfortunately. Um... So when you guys watch my videos and I do like the uh, speed test and everything, I ride the bike with no power to get to the location so I have a full battery to do my speed test. So with the scooter, I would have to push it like across Route 1, like all the way to Lewis, and it's just like a hike with a scooter, and it's been like 95 degrees and super humid recently. So I was working on um, that Angway review edit okay so now what we're gonna do hmm, i don't want to flip this bike upside down because i really don't want to bend that fender too much but i'm gonna flip the bike upside down look at the battery wow that's different i wonder how to get that sucker out kevin said i like the bmx style handlebars i do too whoa the battery is crazy Operators, 16 year old, operator minimum age, wear a helmet, pre-ride check, uh, radgo.com forward slash safety. I might have to figure out how to get that battery out. Like I don't see a, a key hole or like any rad owners out there. I, I know I have an instruction manual. I know that, but how the heck? <laughs> oh, there's the key. I found it. I found it. Hold on, let, let's get the battery out really quick. I just want to see. I've, I've never seen a battery like this before. The little holes right on the side of the... Oh, look how it just popped out. Oh, wow. That's actually pretty, pretty nice. Kev said these bikes rule in California. 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. There we go. And it's got all your good certifications that you need. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Hold on, what what uh, what they say, D? These bikes rule in California. They do. It's crazy. Wow. Rick said the paint job looks well done. It does. Dude, I, I can't wait to see it uh, in the dark, like in front of a, a headlight or a car light. Reflective. <laughs> so wait, is the whole paint job reflective or just the orange so part? That's what it says on the website. Again, we'll pull out the specs here very soon. And then I'm sorry, D. I know you're looking at the. <laughs> nope. I did want to move that uh, that couch earlier. D, I'm sorry. It's getting closer. Sci-Fi Brief <laughs> said, use the trailer for the scooter. Okay, here we go. Yeah. The there scooter's huge. It's like a van. Oh, it's actually, the bike isn't <laughs> really like super car. crazy heavy either. Like that wasn't that bad with the battery and everything. Okay, we got a quick release. So, unscrew it, unscrew it. Unscrew the quick release. I'm still not well versed in these quick releases, man. Like I, I don't, I don't get how tight it has to be. I feel like I should go to a bike shop and just like, like, yo, show me how tight this is supposed to be. Rick said the reflective tires used to be an upgrade, but they work great in low light. <laughs> Come on, there we go. Oh, that's good. They just include them. Dimebag said, trade some bikes and buy a car. If anyone's local, we have tons of bikes for sale, half off. Uh, Kevin Turner, Jenny really <coughs> likes the bike and also the color. There we go. Yes. Oh my. What should I do when it's like this, Paltima? Should I add a little bit of, of like oil on there? 
turn, this bike does kind of match your camper. Well, that is, that's rusted. I'm, I'm wondering, what, what do you guys think I should do? Like add some oil on there later? I have like dry lube and uh, Dry lube? Dry lube. <laughs> Shouldn't it be wet lube? It's dry, it's for dry uh, environments. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to keep these little washers or not, but for now I'm gonna take them off just in case. Russell's owner, he said, I never changed my answer. Every cargo bike needs the rear seat installed, front pegs and eight hangers. <laughs> I agree, brother. I agree, does it have a, oh yes, thank you. All right, before you put that front wheel on, it hasn't been a struggle yet, really, guys. So thank you for joining our live stream. If you guys want to support the channel, there's always links down below for all the e-bikes and accessories you, you see. Yeah, look at me. There's a little struggle right there. You see on the channel, and there's a link down below for the Rad Power Rad Runner 3. You guys are interested in this bike. All right, we in there. Did anybody ever tell me what to do with the, with this? Since it's like a little, little rust going on on there. Oops. Russell said, bolt an old ski to that plate you're taking off so you can ride it on the sand at full speed finally. <laughs> Brian McCann, I do not trust the quick release tires. Me neither, bro. I never do, but I still haven't had an issue to date, so. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers freaking crossed. Time bag said lithium grease, Russell's Honor WD-40. Okay. I do have lithium grease out in the in the garage. Ultima said, ew, yeah, wipe it with an oil on a rag. Wipe it with oil on a rag. Time bag said, I hope some of you get bikes from Shreddy. <laughs> Come get them. Come get them for me, guys. Come get them or check out the links in this video's description. Okay, that's really Shop tight. Okay. Get a discount. And I've, I was always told to, when you do the quick release, like point them like up with the... Uh, uh. Also said, put the quick release in the wheel first. Oh, and drop it in, right? So far so good, no scraping. Look at that, normally you hear a little ching, ching, <laughs> ching. He really needs a little van. I Astro do, guys. Glide. I really do need a van so bad. Grease I was... I was crying about it today. I'm like, man, I need a van so bad. I, I was trying to shoot the, the what, what video? The G2 video. And I was like, man, I don't want to walk in 95 degree heat <laughs> with a 120 pound scooter at that. Yeah. Also said the quick release lever should leave a mark on your palm when you press it closed. I did it pretty hard-ish. <laughs> Ooh, almost got hit in the, oh my God, this thing is so low, D. D. <laughs> You're gonna freaking ride this. Whoa, look at the freaking, the display. Even the display looks neat, like the oranges. I like the oranges that they they put Here, on there. I'll show there. you guys the, the display. Orange. Let's go check it out. Oh, wow. This position feels really nice. I like the seating position on it. I'll, I'll uh, raise it up here in a second. We'll turn on the bike. Uh, let me just get the pedals on, front fender on, headlight on, that way I can show you guys what the headlight looks like. Okay, we're not ready yet. Not ready just yet. <laughs> we'll be yet. back over soon. Yeah, we'll be back. So we got like kind of like a enduro, like dual sport type tire. I'm sure we can ride this on the beach. So we'll definitely take this out on the beach and test it out. And like I said, we're, we're gonna do a video when Dee and I are gonna ride this. Maybe Dee will sit on the back. We'll get one of those crazy little seats so she could chill back here. And uh, we'll maybe put the tailor in the back. Maybe you can you sit on the back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'll do <laughs> it. That'll kidding. make the video even better. So there must be like pegs you can put there. There's like a floorboard thing you could put on there. So, yeah, let's chill like this. Look at that. You can throw like two adults back here and an adult up here, like three people on one bike. <laughs> All right, let's get the pedals on now and then we'll get the fender on. We'll turn on the bike. We'll turn on the headlight so you guys can check out the headlight uh, pedals. Pedas. Any questions, guys? Any questions? Right. L and R, pedals are always marked. Ooh, the, I think, yeah, the controller's down here. And can I, is there any markings on the controller? It tells you how many 
amps it's pushing or anything. No, I don't see anything. I'd have to take it apart and check. <sighs> Paul Tomo, what's your guess on uh, how many amps this controller is pushing? 48 volt, I think it's a 750 watt motor. Totally legal. Dun. Controller Oops. is 17 amps. 17 amp controller, okay. Awesome, thank you, Pultima. That's right, Pultima owns a Rad Power. A very souped up Rad Power. And if you guys are interested in knowing how to put a new motor in there and swap them out, we did do a live stream with Pultima and his bike a while. Man, that must have been like a year ago or something. Look at my old live streams. He freaking swapped it out. Brand new motor. Pretty awesome. Paltoma is a, another e-bike wizard. And hopefully you can make it to our next ride, Paltoma. Our last ride was such a freaking blast, man. Except for the part where we got covered in chiggers and ticks and stuff. That was really, really bad. <laughs> we like went through a swarm of chiggers and ticks and like I felt so bad because was, it was my idea to go back there, check out this beautiful spot and then and everybody got covered. <laughs> I just said pedals. I don't know why, but that is my, that is the fun part about assembly. Yeah, doing this. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I was like, is this ever going to end? Awesome. That's on there. Let me get my tools closer. It's starting to get, turn into a mess here. I need to get some sort of like work rug like this that has like a, like a rubber mat on the bottom and like a little corner for tools or something. Guys, if you're enjoying this unboxing and, and build up until now, definitely uh, check out all those links down below. Check out that link for the Rad Power, the Rad Runner 3. If Rad Runner isn't for you, there's more links down there. Check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Uh, I remember if you guys go through the link in the video's description for the Rad Power, they are having a Labor Day sale and you what? get a free accessory yeah, with free this accessory. bike. That's right. Maybe get that center console. Oh, yeah, guys, don't forget, we still got two more boxes to unbox. I'm gonna throw the center console in here. Maybe we'll put the trailer together, just not on there, because I'm pretty sure you might have to like take something I can't wait to see the trailer. down here, so I'm excited for that. Okay, what should we do, headlight now or, f or fender now? Let's do fender now, since fender, since fender. Brian said, what would Megatron say about the folding, transforming e-bike? I wish they had a, a Megatron e-bike. That'd be sick. He would say, Megatron. <laughs> Megatron. Did you guys watch uh, Shreddy's new, what was it? The go-kart video? Yeah, the freaking Bumblebee Transformers go-kart. That was so much fun shooting that video. Dee Dee got to ride it. Um, yeah, that video just came out, what, Sunday? So make sure you guys check that out. Sunday. Definitely check it out, guys. Throw some views my way. The transforming go-kart. Eddie on, drifts is, on it. the other part? I get to ride it. it. It was awesome. Here it is. For kids and adults. All right. So I'm probably going to put that almost at its highest. All right. Ding, 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 <laughs> ding, 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 ding. I just keep said if anyone watches Married at First Light, this bike was featured in a recent season. What is it? Uh, really? <laughs> on a TV show? Ralph said I could use fenders. Do you end up with extra fenders ever? It's like 60 bucks a fender new, almost 200 Whoa. bucks for a legit trike set. Wow. 60 bucks for new fenders? He's, he's got the trike, is that what he said? I'm sorry, I'm like. Do you have a trike? Is that what he muscle? said? He said Mastodon uses Rad Power bikes. Oh, do you have a Mastodon trike? Mastodon's a band, I'm pretty sure. Right? Oh, Russell said that's how Rad Power got a jump on the market. They started providing them at festivals for staff, crew, and artists. Hell yeah. That's a very smart thing to do. And I think there's another bike company out there that's, that's kind of doing the same thing that we will have very soon on the channel. <laughs> there's like a ton of bikes coming our way, guys. Even dirt bikes. We even have dirt bikes coming. All right. I wanted to raise that, but I tightened it up all the way like I didn't want to do. <laughs> what kind of uh bikes would you guys like want to see on the channel 
Like, you know, what bikes do you want to see? We'll keep it as high as possible like that. Altima said they keep it legal and program the controller to be user friendly. It will feel tame, but to the cr their credit, the pedal assist programming is really good. Awesome. I can't wait to see what the cadence uh, sensor on this because some bikes with the cadence sensors, like they take off right away and they're really powerful. I like a very low powered, like gradual takeoff with the cadence sensor or just go full on torque sensor. So, uh, uh, uh. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> what the heck? Russell said I have an upgraded Fat Tad CXS. Guys, where do you, you uh, normally this has like, uh. <laughs> he said, did Shreddy forget to put the light on? <laughs> not yet, not yet. I still got it though. I still got it. Hold on, where is this? Ah, I see. I need some nuts. That's what, this is what happens when you don't need, read instruction manuals. You're just figuring it out like, <laughs> as you go. There we go. I got two of those. And I grabbed the right one. Everyone said the Extreme Bull K6. Yo, people have been wanting me to ride that thing for the longest time. People keep uh, sending me the links to those. Maybe I should try one. They look scary as hell, man. You're like so low to the ground. Like, I felt like sketched out riding the go kart. Let alone a freaking, that thing goes like 60 or 70 or something crazy. Ultimate said those brackets go to the bottom of the fork. Got it. Thank you, my brother. And the other nut that I totally don't know where it went. <laughs> Russell said by now, Shreddy could write a manual from memory. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but I still struggle. I still struggle. That's the thing. Oh, just a little oh, background on Shreddy. He also um, like plays electric guitar and sings, but... When he plays electric guitar, he would just like make his music himself. He would never read music, kind of like he doesn't well, read the manual. I learned how to play guitar with YouTube. YouTube. I started, I did go to like a lesson or two, but I was like, this sucks. I just want to learn how to rock. So I started learning how to play songs off of YouTube. Just watching people's fingers and taking like little lessons on YouTube of how to play the song, not how to read notes or anything like that. DIY or die, baby. There we go. All right, fender mounted at its highest point. I know that looks funny, but no chance of scraping. Yeah, they were saying it's fast. Shreddy couldn't believe how fast the, uh, what was it? The Segway. The Bumblebee go-kart? Yeah. That thing was, it's power. It's got some torque. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's got that torque to like throw you back. It's insane. Did I just mount this? I probably shouldn't have mounted that yet. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, Shreddy. The struggle continues. So normally I'm pretty sure like that goes like there. Time to pick up the manual. No, I mean, I, 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 it has to go here. It has to because there is a connection for it. Yikes. Do you guys want to see what the headlight looks like? Should I really yes. put it on? You guys really want the freaking headlight? All right. You oh, it. Russell said I'll trade you bikes for guitars. They have way too many guitars. Dude, I, guess what? I don't have an acoustic guitar because I had to give it back to my buddy that let, let me borrow it back before even the vid started. And we lost everything at our old house, so we had to get rid of all those guitars. I like those there, but you can lower the fender too, LOL. You want me to lower it? <laughs> I did it at like the highest point you could do. Like, I just don't want a chance of scraping it. So the rear rack capacity is 120 pounds. This thing could carry some weight. That's all I'm saying. Come here, washer. Washer. There we go. Oh, snap. I didn't think I was going to go back. All right, all right. Any questions, comments? Please, please stay. What is the range? <laughs> please stay. Let's get to the specs after I get this struggle over with. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There we go. Ha! Oh, there we go. Get that in there. There we go. In there. These reading the instruction, man. You better not be doing that, dude. Don't be reading the instructions. We don't. A, we don't do that in. This, <laughs> we don't do that here in this household. <laughs> what is this instruction manual thing in your hand? 
can I still move it up gently? All right, guys, I'll move it down. I'll move it down. <laughs> Brian said going 30 miles an hour on the extreme bull feels like you're going 60. Because you're so long. freaking low to the ground is insane. Uh, like a skateboard? It's like sit, it's like sitting on a like a e-scooter that goes 70 miles an hour. Like you're sitting down on it. It's crazy. There we go. Headlight installed. All right. You just <laughs> made the um, fender crooked. Oh, snap. How's that look? Good. There, oh, there we go. Right there. Boom. <laughs> John said a third Chungus. hand helps to hold the light while you tighten the screw. I know, but Dee Dee's behind the camera. She's going to try sitting on his bike. And let's pull out the other. Let me get these boxes out of the way. Let me get this box out of the way. Well, there's boxes in the box. box. Oh. Now we got like 10 boxes. <laughs> and we got new boxes to put in the way. We got center console. We'll put that in. And then we got the rad uh, trailer. Rad, 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 rad trailer. There we go. We're gonna get rad with rad power. The raddest. Uh, oh. What's next, guys? Uh, what am I forgetting? You guys wanna turn it on? Is there anything else? Uh, oh yeah, they said turn it on. Turn it on, okie dokie. You guys got it. We'll do console next though. We'll put. Oh God. All right. Oh, they're very nice, very nice. Oh, <laughs> I'm like totally messing up the carpet. All right. Display, here's All right, the let power. Me, let me get closer. There must be some kind of power button at the bottom because it's not turning on. <laughs> <laughs> Let Again? me check the battery. Is <laughs> it the struggle? The second time I came over here, you weren't yeah, ready for not it. Not ready. Let me see something. Oh, there's like nothing in the battery. I don't think. Oh, we have to charge it. Let me check. Should I go sit down again? Yeah. <laughs> Let me just plug the charger in and see what, what happens. Just make sure it's like gonna receive a charge. I've never had a completely, completely dead battery. Um, so let's make sure it charges. Uh, all right, we might just leave it charging. David Beltiera said, has anyone ever seen a Go Ped Sport gas scooter converted electric? No, I've never even heard of those. Can you send me a link to that on Instagram or Facebook? I would love to check that out. All right, so there isn't like a power button on here. The charger is red, like it's charging the battery. So we'll let it charge for a little bit. Um, after we get everything kind of built up, we'll try it again. This thing is a lot lighter without that battery, though, I'll tell you that. Very, very cool, cool bike. All right, let's tap into the console and check this sucker out. I wonder if, if uh, the accessories also come with their own tool. Wanda. Russell said, Rad makes some of the beefiest bikes. No lie. Beefy. Russell said, that thing's a tank. Look at it, dude. He said it's the same color as, as his parents' old Fiat. It feels <laughs> solid. Class 2, 20 miles. Oh, let's say 20 miles per hour, 750 watt. I wonder if they're all locked down. It's uh, 20 miles an hour. Um, is it, uh, Paltima, you're the best person to ask. Is there a way to get into the display and maybe unlock a little more speed than 20? John W., this reminds me of the Thucar Libra's full suspension. Have you I didn't even that? see in the back, like, okay, so it, it's a hardtail, totally a hardtail, but suspension on the front. So the other thing you could do, that I'm, I'm like looking at it, I wonder what you could do for like butt suspension. Um, you could always get like a suspension seat post and I didn't check, but they probably have it since they have like so many, so many accessories you can get for this bike. Shredhead member Brian McCann said, Brad has been sending out batteries that are not charged, he heard. Oh, okay. So you have to so charge them when you get them. I gotta let it totally, totally charge. Usually that's not good for the cells, but ooh, I think it's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. 
All right, so it looks like it does come with tools. Um, if you guys are enjoying this video up until now, definitely don't forget to check out that link down below for the Rad Runner 3, guys. It does help support the channel. And if you guys are enjoying this unboxing and maybe struggle coming soon, don't forget to drop that like because it does help push this video out to other people so they can join us in this live stream. Should I look at the instructions to do this? And you do get a free accessory if you purchase through the Labor Day sale, if you purchase through the link in the description. I like how they do like little orange accents on all their, all their stuff. John W. said, see if you can get the Fucar Libra. I bet you'll like it. Yeah, definitely send me a link to that. I don't want to forget. Uh, always cut away from you. Also, well, said he swapped motors and did 40. He said you can get 23 miles per hour. Russell said the batteries are probably dead because everyone races through the warehouse. And <laughs> yeah, I do right. The same. All right. So here's the, it does have it does lock. So that's pretty cool. You can put like your wallet and stuff in there, and there it is. A little con, little center console like a car, dude. That's so awesome. Can that be a cooler? Oh, mm. It maybe if you line it with something, actually, you could probably line it with like some kind of plastic bag and use it like a cooler. Wait, I thought it said it was like a cooler or it's for water bottles and there's like a hole at the bottom or something for it to drain out. I mean, there is a hole at the bottom that looks like it can fit like some kind of water bottle. See the hole right there? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave the key on top there. All right. All right. I just wanna figure out how it goes. I'm guessing it goes like that. So that's what it's gonna look. Isn't this crazy, D? That like, like the things you can do. It's it may me it may not be the prettiest, but this bike is like the most practical practical bike you can get. The fact that you can do things like this and and it's it's pretty awesome. I'm I'm actually stoked on this bike for sure. There's room for a front basket too. Like a lot of room, it looks like. I'm putting a front basket on it if I ride it. Right, I'm just unscrewing this thing to get this little cardboard piece off and out yikes come on come on hold on does that not is it not supposed to come out or what the hell okay it is Ooh. any more questions guys all right so my guess is goes something like that or like this yep just like that so it has a little two rubber feet on each side there, metal. Um, my guess is it goes like that underneath, and then these little things kind of screw in there. Should I have like the top open when I do this? My guess is, yep. Dude, I'm, I'm guessing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess, we're gonna guess how to do this. So, <laughs> I'm gonna screw this straight through. If you guys think I'm doing this wrong, don't forget to help me out. Don't forget to help me out. All right. I want to know what the, okay, does this screw? D, I don't know what I'm doing. I want to make sure I have all my tools. Ow. <laughs> did that come with instructions? It did, but I don't want to read them. I want to see the back trailer box open. We're going to open that like. for sure. So that goes there like, like so. The struggle is real on this one. Okay, I got to screw it in a little bit deeper. <laughs> I think our floor is going to be dented up after this. After all these e-bikes we have in here. Ow, it kees crushing my <laughs> fingers. Stop. I see said have D sit on the bike before you mount the console. Oh yeah, so she could step through it. That's not a bad idea, actually. And do they screw it down into where what? Hmm. Did, it, did I show you guys like nuts that it came with or anything? John said, put the screw down through the box and the clamp. Set it in place, turn the clamp and tighten. Say that again? <laughs> put the screw down through the box and the clamp. Set down it in place. Through the box. 
in the box. Yes. I got instructions here. I can I could I could read them, but Thank you for reading the instructions, John. I love you, John. Set in place, turn the clamp and tighten. Tighten. So he's saying put this in the box. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why there's a hole in the box. Yep. All right, if this closes on my fingers one more time, D. You're the one that told me that thing was a Ow. cooler and had the hole at the bottom for water to trip out of. I said that. But the hole for the screw. Yeah, because I was telling you to get the front basket instead of this console. <laughs> <laughs> I really said that? Yes. That's funny. And you tried to act like it had all these different features. <laughs> the console. John, you're the man. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. <laughs> So I guess it's only the one screw I'm using, because I don't see any more, like holes. Oh, they give you shorter guys. Gotcha. This is like the long one. There we go. Now we're in. Now we're in. Oh, I'm in there. Ah. Oh. D doesn't like it. You're, you're looking at it. D, it's a center console, D. It's a center console. Oh, how's the battery going to slide? Oh, it's, it looks like there's enough room for the battery to slide oh, right yeah, in there. Oh, yeah, the battery yeah. has to go on there. Dude, that's awesome. Like, I could put, when I'm, when I'm shooting the review, I can put all my batteries and stuff in there. Normally, I shoot uh, the review. I always have my GoPro um, plugged into a battery, so I could actually put the battery there, have a little charger coming right out of there. Hell, yeah. Hell yeah, if you guys uh, saw the new GoPro just came out and still GoPro Hero 8's number one best one. It's still going strong, my very first GoPro, so. Instead of I'm wearing a backpack, it. you could just put everything in there. This is awesome, D. I really, really like that. All right, next is the Rad Wagon. Am I gonna struggle? I'm gonna test this bike in your review, but I'm taking off the center console. Well, I want, I want D to sit on it, though. I want you to try to sit on it. I want to get them to set a front basket. She can still put, uh, step over that for sure, because look how low it is. It's so freaking, it's so low. Uh, specs not yet, actually. Specs not yet. Well, I did tell you the 750 watt motor, 48 volt, 14 amp hour battery. Da, 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 da. There we go. All right, the rad trailer, guys. My first ever e-bike trailer. I've been wanting one of these for such a long time. And here it finally is. And you guys are here to unbox it with me. I'd like to thank all of you subscribers for hanging out, for being here. Past, present, and future, you guys all rock. Because without you guys being here, we wouldn't be here hanging out with you guys. I'd probably, probably be wrapping cars with vinyl still. Right, we're gonna actually bring this back and lay it down and kind of pull it out just like a bike. Well, you know what? No, I'm pulling straight. John out. W said that's a great idea for a lot of step throughs. Oh. What having a little console there? Oh yeah, 100. percent Look, it comes with little tires. It's so. This is cute. the trailer. Dude, I got a trailer. I got an e-bike trailer. Oh my god, I'm so hyped on it. Oh, I almost twisted my ankle. Essentially, we could literally have a trailer full of batteries connected to this and we'll have a thousand mile range e-bike. Yeah. I mean, I do have enough batteries to where we could do that. Russell said you could even put the extra batteries in the console also. Not a bad idea, actually. Not a bad idea, you Russell. Or go stealth and put a higher power controller and bigger pack in there. Bro, it comes with a flag. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna have to throw this on the back of the go-kart too sometimes. No way. Oh, the flag for the trailer? Yeah. What? Hold on, why is there a two? You can also use that for your go-kart. <laughs> is it like stackable or something? Is it? Oh, Russell nice. said the console reminds him of a flower pot, like a VW Bug, like you can put flowers <laughs> in there. Yeah, that's sick. The, what, hold on, say it again, it the reminds me of- The console reminds him of a VW Beetle owner flower pot. <laughs> All right, more, more clipping. Guys, we got like 10,000 zip ties and shoestrings in this house right now. Ice Scoot said you can mount a gas generator on the trailer and have infinite range. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so he does come with reflectors on there. I probably will put the reflectors on the trailer just in case so people can see it 
behind us and no cars hit it. That'd be so sad. Somebody hit my trailer. Yo, imagine making, turning this into a mini camper or something that like folds out of bed in like a tent or something. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, something just closed up even tighter than it should have been. There we go. Huh. Rad trailer, guys. Rad freaking trailer. If you guys are enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Tell your family to come join this. This is a family-friendly e-bike. Ah, there we go. Oh, what came in today, D? Another bike came in today, too, I forgot to say. We got the Model J, the most custom actual e-bike I designed myself. It's like an e-moped. We got the rear brake on the left also for Shreddy. Um, the colors are really sick. I can't wait for you guys to check it out. Oh, free tire. It's free. Look at this tire. It's so little. There we go. Look at that. 16 by two and a quarter. Ugh. Was that supposed to be all there? I don't know if there was like something else out that was attached to that. Nope, we're good. Good, good. We don't need that. All right, there we go. So boom, one of the wheels. And then boom, two of the wheels. Do you guys want me to put this together or just kind of show it to you? Do you guys want it together? Yeah, put it <laughs> show together. It to you. Like everything's been easy to put together. Yeah, not, not, not a super huge, crazy struggle going on. Whoa, look at this. It looks like a ping pong table or something. Okay, we're still unhooking things. Still. You guys should see the mess around right now. Boxes and zip ties everywhere. <laughs> okay. Any questions, guys? Any questions, any comments that we need to read? Any e-bikes you guys want to see on the channel? Any any e-bikes on the channel that I haven't reviewed yet? You're excited for it to come out? John said his son got a trailer stroller for his twin girls. A yeah, trailer nice. stroller from Red Power? That's awesome. I don't. Does Red Power make trailer strollers? For I the feel kids? like they probably do. They make like everything. It has like little plastic things here. I'm sure that's where the wheels go or something. Okay, a little plastic cover there. Plastic covers here. And you guys, if you use Shreddy's link in the description, you might be able to get this rear rack for free or the console or a million other accessories I'm not, I'm not they sure have. If, if this would be included. I think this is like 300 bucks for this. So well, I'm not sure. you can see if it'll be included. Yeah, you should, that would be the first thing you try to add, the trailer. There's so many zip ties, dude. Oh, that's, there's a nut right here, zip tied, so always keep your nuts and always check your nuts. Around me, I put my nut right there, right over there. Never mind, Shredheads member said, will you be reviewing the Chimera? The Chimera, uh, once, I think once it goes into production and they have an actual production model, yes. Uh, I'm gonna mess with that later. Yeah, stay, stay like that. All right, oh, one more thing. That's cool, so you can like put all your things in here, put your straps on here on the side. Awesome, dude, this is awesome. I don't think these, what the hell? Brian McCann has been a Shredheads member for seven months. Hell Congratulations. yeah. Congratulations. Thank you, Brian McCann, for supporting the channel for a very, very long time. We really appreciate it. How do we take this off? If anyone else is interested in becoming a Shredhead member, uh, you can join. There's a link in the video's description. You get your name highlighted. What else do you get, Shreddy? Uh, you get to see the video sometimes, like a day to two to three days earlier. Except for the last two videos, I kind of put out on a whim. And you get your name um, put in each video. How the heck do you undo this? What the? Okay, I'm guessing it does. Yeah, okay. And that pops 
up like this. <laughs> that goes forward like that. Ultima said, pull the loop down and towards you, then pull the clip up. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Like, you actually have to pull that away from this. And then, same thing, kind of bend it around. Back a little bit. There we go. Boom, boom. There we go. Okay. Now, we have tires to put on. It has two different spots for them or something. It has a little, oh, what are these for? Okay, that keeps the, this platform on. So we'll tighten these up to keep the platform from moving too much. Boom, boom. Instructions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. Ah, my finger. I got stuck. How do you know which hole it goes in? There's three of them. I don't. I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. That's what she said. Yeah. Either. Either. I don't. Let's see. Russell says, see if you can stub out your regen to charge your trailer batteries, or you can add a front dyno. Sermi Archer makes a bunch, for example, and keep your trailer topped with that. Trailer wheels could also have dual dynos to keep your trailer power pack charged up. Self-charging trailer, LOL. Okay, let's look at this. We need the beach trailer. Number one, trailer wheel axle positions. Also said the upper hole. Upper hole. You're the man. Thanks. Thank you for you guys that are reading I know. Directions. Well, they're always helping me out. That's the thing. It's... It's our, the channel's thing. It's you guys help me build it. <laughs> Ice Goose said, before you assemble the trailer, can you get it out your door? Yeah, I could probably just take it out sideways like this. Yeah, the tire, the wheels aren't like that crazy huge. Uh, oh. What? There's a button you press on, on the wheel itself. Wow. That gets those little crazy. metal things like the, the pinch in. <laughs> I just looked at the picture, guys. I looked at the damn picture. Easy, Whoa. nice. Look at it. It's really light, by the way, guys. It's very light. Oh. Remember, guys, this trailer holds 100 pounds, 100 pound capacity. There you go. And the bike actually holds, I think it's a 350 pound weight capacity, which is higher than most bikes. Well, I guess you could do either or top or bottom hold, it's shown. Ultima said push, bottom, push button wheels. Yep. Cool. Very cool. All right, so turn it around this way. We'll set it down, kind of show you what it looks like. And that's it. That's a trailer, guys. Look how much room's on there. We could definitely put our kayak here, big ass cooler there. I do got to get some kind of like strap system or maybe actually get that cargo net over here. We could use all the straps they gave us yeah. today. <laughs> all the shoelaces around. they gave me for, for uh, belts. Um, and. So to hook it up, my guess is probably gonna have to take out, take off the nut and then use that right here. See that little hole right there? I'm not gonna uh, mount it because I wouldn't be able to get it out of the house. But I wonder what like all this stuff is. Yeah, Russell said you could put fat tires on it and pull it on the beach. Also said, whoa, the wheels have bearings instead of just bushings, nice. Oh, this must like hook around the frame or something and then kind of for extra safety or something is my guess. And then this, I don't know what that's for. My guess is maybe you can leave, no. It'd be cool if you could leave like the part connected and actually quick connect and disconnect. I'm actually not sure. Okay, that comes up like that. Oh, it does. You can probably leave that part on your bike. Awesome. Put it in your console. <laughs> yeah, actually, not a bad idea. Put that. Ow! <laughs> Did you guys hear that? Yes. That was you my pop your freaking skin, dude. Ow, dude. That hurt. <laughs> but anyways, we'll keep it like that. Let me see if that battery's charging up to get a little bit of power. A little power. Oh, we look at, and we can look at the display? Yeah, I'm trying. Charger's hot. Hot, 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 hot. 
I'm still not getting any like any lights on here though. Oh, well, usually when you first charge something, you have to charge it for a while. Brian a McCann, shredded member, said struggling confirmed. <laughs> oh yeah, does. let's see how it fits. It does. It fits in there. Just perfect. Can we get power? Let's see. Nope, no power. Not enough. Not enough power, my Need friends. Need to charge it. Nope, not enough. The brakes feel nice. Definitely a. Uh, oh, the bells down down here. Hydraulic disc brakes. Um, Beautiful paint job. Anyways, let's nice get the battery light. back out, back on the charger. And it I fits love the color. just perfect right in there. Definitely digging the color for sure. Any questions while I get this back plug, get this plugged in back there. Ah, oh, there we go. Trailer is sick though. What do you think about that, D? Awesome. That's I love it. Fun. That's great for the beach. Damn. Do you want to sit on it, D? Would you like to try it Groceries. out? Groceries. Oh, people could do like Uber Eats with the trailer too. Dude, the brakes feel very nicely tuned. It's like a nice, nice grab. What do you think, do you think you could fit on it? Those feel pretty solid. Yes, but you have to move the console. Oh. I'll do it on your review video. Do you want to like sit next to it, like to see what it looks like? I want to keep this with the trailer. So I'm gonna just leave it on the trailer. <laughs> Any questions, guys? Well, well, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna say what she just said unless you guys give us 100 likes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on this bike left to do to put on? We got the fender on, we got everything on, guys. Any questions before we end this uh, live stream? We got another live stream coming up soon. Um, we have the Yaday Trooper to um, unbox or unwrap because the box didn't come in too great of shape. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got the Electric Bike Company Model J right there behind Didi and his big box already put together. So it's not going to be a struggle taking that thing out of the box. Uh, completely custom designed by me. Uh, I even got them to put the rear brake on the left so I could wheelie it. Uh, so I'm excited to show you guys that bike too. Gonna be reviewing this one soon. Uh, got the review for the Segway GT2 Megatron. Uh, limited edition scooter. What else we got, D? There's so much. There's so much. Got a dirt bike coming very soon. We got anything else in the garage that I can't remember. Handle works. We got the uh, Async A1, the Async H7. We have the Handle Works controller for the Super 73, upgrading your Super 73 with just a plug and play uh, controller. Uh, what else? There's and then so I would much. just remind them if you guys haven't checked out already, be sure to check out the two um, videos Shreddy posted from the Electrify Expos. They mm -hmm. were awesome videos. Um, Such a blast. One where he tested out the Tesla Plaid, the Tesla Electric Car, and then one where he rode in a race car like drift car ford Mach-E with colette davis that was such a blast and she was such a nice lady it was so much fun nice girl <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i guess she was pretty young um <laughs> yeah and then what else what other videos came out this week angway uh drift go-kart uh the segway go-kart be sure segway to check out that video guys i got two group rides that i still got to edit one with a 91 mile an hour e-bike that Bomber Mark put together uh, other bomber bikes on that ride. Uh, Talaria Triple uh, X, a bunch of Surons. That ride's going to be pretty fun to, to edit down. Uh, got another Suron ride after that. I know some of you guys are getting tired of my Suron rides, but we'll have some normal bike, uh, e bike group rides out there very soon. As, as you guys know, I've been having such a blast learning wheelies on the Suron. Um, you guys haven't seen any content of me wheeling the Suron yet, but I've got it down. I can wheelie slow, pop it up from a stop. like. I've gotten really good on that. <laughs> I can wheelie the Zoos, I can wheelie the Super, I can wheelie the P51, and what else? I think that's all the bikes that I can wheelie. Sir. So, yeah, and the Suron. But the uh, Zeus. yeah, we'll bring out all those the other Zeus. bikes and wheelie those Zoos on, on group rides. And if you guys are interested in any of those bikes I mentioned, there are links down below. There's discount links. And if you guys uh, want the Rad Power Rad Runner 3 Plus with all these awesome, cool, crazy accessories, like I cannot believe we finally got a trailer, guys. Look at this. It's so lightweight and crazy. Check out that link down below. And if uh, none of...
these bikes I talked about are <laughs> rad powers for you. Check out all those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. I'm excited to figure out how to get this thing mounted on there though. Like, I, I guess I gotta read instructions after we hang up the, hang up the phone <laughs> with you guys. And remember you guys, if you go through Shreddy's link for the Rad Power, they are having a Labor Day sale and you get a free accessory, accessory yeah. like this console or maybe the trailer. Not I don't, sure. not sure <laughs> what, what the what limitations the are like. on how much you can spend. Dan Bob said that's a perfect beer holder. Oh yeah. You can put the case on the trailer and the beer in the console. Yep. I wonder how many cases of beer this thing can hold. Because you can stack them and then strap them. You can stack and strap. Hold on. What did they say? What's the weight? 100 pounds of beer. So if you got 100 pounds of beer, you got it. Actually, this could probably hold a, a keg, right? <laughs> a keg could just be strapped on here rolling around. Maybe I'll throw a grill. Strap a grill on here. We'll do a little grill and chill ride. That'd be pretty crazy. Get a stand-up uh, grill. Laurie Edwards said hello from Brooklyn, New York. What's uh, up from Delaware? What's going on? Brian McCann, Shreddy, did you send, see the In Motion RS scooter? No, I haven't. Send me that through uh, Instagram. I'd love to check it out. If you guys have any bikes you want him to review, send him a message on Instagram or Facebook. Lots of bikes are already coming on the channel too. So uh, I, I do have, there's a dirt bike coming very soon. I'm very excited about. So I'm not going to say anything yet. Once you guys see it, you guys will be very happy. And what else? There's more. More traveling, all this stuff. Good stuff. Oh, also said the battery might need to be turned on with the key. Oh. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, where? Thank Let's you, Baltimore. Let's try it again, guys. We're trying it again. Hold on, let me make sure there's no keyhole in here. And no, uh, may, yeah, maybe you got to twist the, uh, for on or something. Hold on. Doesn't say anything, like, about that, but we'll see. We'll see. So turn it maybe to the left. No, it's only one one pop out to the right, and that's all. Nope. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. Maybe once it's hundred percent charged, but yeah, I'm still I'm not even getting like a a bar up here. Long press maybe to turn on. Oh my god! I just called it. it. That's what you got to do. Long press to turn it on, guys. So. If you feel like your battery is, it's almost completely full. So long press to turn on. Oh my God. <laughs> That's funny. I just figured it out like right there. So wait, we can check out the display yes. now. The battery is freaking on. The battery is on. <laughs> That's my Megatron death metal voice. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Display down this way a little bit. Get the on. Oh, the headlight actually turned on by itself. Oh, the headlight's on. See how many levels? Two, three, four, five. Very easy to read display, guys. I've never seen such a simple display. Headlight on, headlight off. Is there a long press or anything? Okay. Anything else on here? All right, let me show you guys the throttle curve. I'm going to pick this up, swing it around, and just kind of show you what the throttle curve is on it. A, D. Oh, it's kind of instant. It's not like a crazy. That's actually a really nice throttle curve. Some of them are like, Whoa, but this is like pretty instant. Wow. That was on mode one. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, it stops at 20 in each mode and you have full throttle all the way from mode zero on up to five. Let me see if there's a, can I get into the display with these up and down arrows? No. Mm. How about all these three? I'm trying to see if I can change at the top speed on this thing. Nope. Yeah. Why are you going to run in the house at top speed? It's only topping out at 20 under no load, but there's got to be a way to, to, to change the top speed on these. Oh, and the rear light actually gets brighter when you when you hit the brakes. The brakes definitely do feel nice though. So cool. Headlight pointing straight up at the sky. There we go. Let me get this off the front. See how bright that is. Get off me. All right, I'm gonna turn this off now. Also said you're, he's not sure if you can unlock it to 23 to 25 miles per hour like the old one. So you'll yeah. have to try. I tried, uh, uh, Paul Tom, I tried the up and down arrows. I tried uh, up and down with the power, up and down with the light button. Maybe just up in power. Let's try. 
Nope, let's try down in power. Oh, I got the, as I'm, as I'm trying to turn on the bike, guys, you guys. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on, let me try it again. Can I get into the display and change the speed? <laughs> as oh I God. hold the battery. All right, up in power. Nope. All right, down in power. Nope. <laughs> Both buttons together and power. Nope. I can't figure it out, guys. Yeah, I can't. Maybe I'll, I'll look online, see if there's a way to unlock the speed. But as of now, we are locked up 20 miles an hour. This is a total 100% legal electric bike. And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is definitely one of the brands that are leading in cargo utility. And they're so versatile with all the different things and attachments and accessories you can get for the bike. And like, again, like I said, when I was in California, all I saw were these bikes all over the place. Also, I just said it's the up and down button at the same time. I'll send you a link. Up and down button at the same time? I tried and nothing still. Let me see. You can try on the review. I'll try again. Do, do, do. I'm holding it, holding it. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe one day, maybe I'll figure it out. I'm gonna get this back on the charger though. That way when we uh, get the review, this thing's freshly, freshly 100% charged and ready to freaking rock and roll. So let's go over the specs since we didn't do that yet. <laughs> okay. Specs, 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 specs. There we go. So again, it retails for $22.99, but if you go now and purchase it through my link, they are having a free accessory, which is, that comes with the bike. I don't think you can get the trailer again. It might not come with the trailer. You never um, know. It can carry up to 350 pounds, up to 45 miles per charge. I'm not sure if that's gonna be on uh, mode one, just pedaling, but we can definitely do a full range test on this uh, 14 amp hour battery. Uh, da -da. I just wanna get to the specs. Uh, it says uh, it's a 30 inch bike inseam, bike inseam. I don't know what that means. I've never. Uh... Oh, 30 inch inseam means the height of the seat. Gotcha. Like your okay. pant leg. So Alyssa that's on this picture, she is five foot four and she fits the bike up to six feet. It says five foot four up to six foot. Yeah, I don't. I could probably get on it if I put my shoes on. I want to get like the spec specs. So, oh yeah, so this is the limited edition Boss Moss Green model that features the Rio light, a reflective coating that boosts night visibility. So I can't wait to see what this looks like at, at nighttime. Dude, where are your specs, deeds? <laughs> View compatible accessories, fast and free shipping. It comes with a one year warranty. Does the gray have that paint also? No, it actually doesn't. This is the only one that has the reflective paint on it. That's why it's a uh, limited. Do I have to go to buy now? Okay, here we go. One year warranty, e-bike style, ships. Okay, I, I can't find the specs on this website, guys. So again, 750 um, watt motor. And I think Paul Tama earlier said he found the, the specs for the controller. It's a 17 amp controller. We have a 48 volt, uh, 14 amp hour battery. Uh, we have uh, full hydraulic disc brakes front and rear. We got a Shimano Acera. Let me see how many gears we have. Seven speeds. Uh, looks like 170 millimeter crank arms, nice and long. So you're gonna be able to pedal this bike really easy. The seat is super low. So I'm sure people like D, which are, she's like five foot three to me, which is like, I'm almost six foot tall, will fit on this perfectly. We can raise and lower the seat. We can throw passengers on the back. There's actually a, a bunch of little mounting spots back here. So I think you can put like some kind of like pad back here, throw kids back here. You can even put like some sort of cage. There's, there's literally drilling points and mounts all over this bike. So there's so many different things you could do with just this one bike alone. Um, so much fun to be had. Reviews coming very soon.
Any more questions before we end tonight? We're going to be going live again very soon. More unboxings. I'm going to be doing a live install for the uh, Handleworks controller on my Super 73 coming up soon. And we're going to be shooting some reviews, more content, more lives coming soon. Is that it, guys? As always, guys, if you guys enjoy that content, check... Oh, shit. Hold on. Uh, crap. <laughs> Huh. As always, if you guys want to support the channel, check out the links down below. Check out, I didn't mean to say the S word. Can we bleep that out later? Uh, check out that link down below for the Rad Powers Bikes Rad Runner. Uh, I don't think there, oh yeah, there's not a, any discount, but there is a free accessory right now. If Rad Runner isn't for you, check out those other links down below. There might be a bike you like. Any questions before we end it? And as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that notification. To be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for that subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next live. See you very soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Say bye bye, Dee Dee. Bye, guys.